Hi church, I want to say a few things about fathers and the importance of fathers in our lives and the importance of being a father in the lead up to Father's Day this Sunday. Of course, normally we'd be able to gather in person and be able to shake a few hands and acknowledge people, acknowledge all of our dads, um, but because of obvious reasons, we can't do that. But I do want to highlight today and tomorrow in my devotion just how important fathers are in our lives and how important God sees um, fatherhood. And so I want to read a verse out of Ephesians chapter 6 and, and then make a few comments. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honour your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. These verses apply both to father and mother, but I think they have something to say to us about the heart of God towards uh, the positions that he has created. He created fatherhood, he created motherhood. But in the context of this Sunday, I want to talk about fatherhood. And he has said elsewhere that fathers are the spiritual head of homes and God sets things in place. He creates lines of authority and he creates uh, positions within family, uh, within church, within society. He's, he's actually a God of honor, but also a God who sets authority in place. He puts elders in the church. He creates ministry positions. He creates calls on people's lives of all different description and all different type. So God is the one who has set the, the order of things and he has created fatherhood. The most important relationship in the eyes of God and, and certainly in my eyes as well is the relationship between parents and children and father uh, to his children. And it's such an important thing in the eyes of God that we honor those that are fathers. Now, for some of us, we may not have our fathers with us. Some of us might be estranged from our fathers. Some, uh, for whatever reason, have had someone else in their life play the role of father for all sorts of reasons. There are all sorts of contexts that these verses speak into. But in our lives, the idea that we would have a father is important to God because it sets up the natural order that God created of relationships. And in that order, we're to bring honor. And even though there is no father that has ever been perfect, no father has been absolutely right in everything that they've done or said, of course, we're all fragile and we all make mistakes. But God has set it up that if we show honor, it allows him to come in. And you know what? He causes a blessing. That word actually says that you'll do well and live long on the earth. He has promised that if we will honor fathers in our lives, that we will do well and live long on the earth. There is a blessing that comes with the honor that we are to show our dads. Now, my dad went a few years ago and he wasn't an easy man to, um, to know and, and to get along with. Uh, he had um, issues from his childhood and his relationship with his father. But one of the things God really impressed on me in the early days when I became a Christian was that I was to honor my dad no, what, no matter what. And I did that. And you know what? I saw God work amazingly in his life. We had a very close relationship when we could have easily been estranged for all of our lives. God did something really um, quite uh, important to me and important to our family. And ultimately, ultimately, I was able to lead him to Christ in the last day of his life. And I consider that an amazing honor. But that came about because I followed the word of God. So whether you have a really close relationship with your father, then I hope that's the case. Or whether you're estranged from your dad, you know what? Show honor no matter what. Be honorable in the way in which you treat your parents and particularly your fathers. And God will cause you to be blessed in your life. Have a great day. I look forward to being with you tomorrow.